I have been consciously manifesting for years, but I always struggled with one particular area. This secret to manifesting took me from living in worry, lack, and desire to thriving in success and abundance, and it can do the same for you. In this video, I'm going to teach you this secret and give you a simple plan for using it to manifest your deepest desires. What is the secret? The secret to manifestation I wish I knew sooner is detachment. This practice or way of being may also be called letting go and letting God. Because God is your own imagination or consciousness, that means detachment is ceasing to imagine, identify with, or be conscious of the problem we are trying to solve. Now I've just made some bold claims which if you're new to this school of thought may make you doubt or judge this way of being as insanity. I implore you to try it. After this video, actually make an effort to apply what is said in your life and before long you will get tangible results from this intangible power. You will discover your own imagination is God and nothing will be impossible to you. Then you can tell others to test it and when they do, they will tell it. In this way, we as humanity will awaken to our imaginative power and begin to live life in an entirely new way. So why does detachment help us manifest? Detachment helps us manifest for several reasons. First, attachments formed through limiting beliefs about the subject or desire must be dissolved in order to truly assume the feeling of already having your wish fulfilled. Our feeling or attitude of mind and reactions to life are what impresses our subconscious mind or imagination for expression and physical reality. If we are manifesting a lump sum of money, we will have difficulty achieving a natural sense of feeling the wish fulfilled if we have limiting or negative beliefs about money. This is where many people get hung up or confused in the manifestation process. They visualize, affirm, and script thousands of times, never truly achieving or maintaining the feeling of fulfillment. People try to force an extreme feeling of joy, thinking that is true fulfillment, but it may not manifest the lump sum if they hate money or believe it is hard to get or believe it is greedy to want more money. These beliefs are the body making up the attitude of mind or feeling of a person. So one minute they are feeling ecstatic in visualization, then 20 minutes later they are in traffic seeing a nice car and reacting with judgment, thinking something like, I bet that guy driving the sports car is unethical, shady, a sleazeball. That impresses the subconscious with the idea that money is negative and since the subconscious can't tell the difference between what you want and what you don't want, it takes the negative picture of money from your feeling and reflects it in your world as physical experience. This is why mental diet is crucial to manifesting. You uproot and replace these limiting or negative beliefs by remaining aware of your thoughts and feelings throughout the day. When a limiting or negative thought comes up, do not accept it. Decide what you would like to be true and think or feel that to be true instead. It may come up multiple times or the old programming may play out trying to trigger you with physical experiences. Remain faithful despite any physical experience. Don't react. Respond. Choosing to think feelingly only on that which you desire to be true in your life. Alternatively, you can completely ignore the thought or belief and it will disappear because you have removed it from your awareness and your imagination so it is removed from your reality. This means absolutely any negative or limiting beliefs in your life are free to be changed. If you believe love is hard to find, or that money only comes from hard work, or that you cannot be who you want to be, perish the thought. Put your every belief in question and craft your reality how you want it. The second reason detachment helps us manifest is, when we focus our energy on a problem or lack of something we desire, it becomes impossible for us to feel it is already done and our energy is tied up preventing the subconscious from forming the bridge of incidents. A bridge of incidents is a series of events leading to the fulfillment of your desire in physicality. We do not have a limited amount of energy, but we do have a limited perspective. That means we can only see in our reality a reflection of what we believe as true within ourselves, within our consciousness, our mind, or our imagination. This means that all the time you spend worrying, fearing, doubting, or desiring is energy misallocated to lack instead of fulfillment. That is why detachment in my experience has best been practiced by focusing on relaxation and dropping thoughts, becoming present and disengaging from the mind. Even if we do not consciously put our awareness on fulfillment, the feeling of relaxation is something we would likely experience after our desire is fulfilled. This means that it is still in alignment with the feeling of the wish fulfilled 
and allows energy for the universe to manifest your desire physically. Here's my story on how this worked for me. Many people who manifest have one topic or area of their life where they struggle to manifest. In my case, I had always found it difficult to manifest money in particular. I was not aware of how often I allowed my worrying about money to occupy my mind despite many successes elsewhere and much time spent learning about and applying the law. I had been slow in my business and I had some bills coming up that needed to be paid, specifically credit card bills, which can make anyone feel the opposite of abundant if they have debt. My worries range from thoughts about where the money would come from to even shame of possibly asking someone to help, especially when I teach manifestation. A mixture of worry, fear, impatience, doubt, and lack feelings were impressing my subconscious for hours of the day. Compared to 15 minutes of visualization, it's not hard to see which would manifest. After realizing this, I dedicated myself to limit my worrying to 15 minutes a day. If any new thoughts of worry came up after that time, I would say, nope, that's for tomorrow, and go about my business. Going from hours of worry to 15 minutes is actually a huge difference for manifestation purposes. Or even if it didn't manifest, it's a huge improvement in my mental state of being. I prioritize relaxation and detachment by not even imagining or visualizing money, but simply relaxing, being present, and feeling calmly good for no particular reason. I started to feel a whole lot better, but the due date for the bills was approaching and I still didn't have enough. With three days left and all my sources of income taking several business days to hit my account, it was not easy to let the thoughts go. But I did it. I remained faithful, persisting, trusting in God as my imagination. Then, two days before the bill was due, I got money in a way that could be instant transferred to my bank. More than enough. This uncomfortable experience changed me forever. Now my trust cannot be shaken, so I am diligently watching my mind and ignoring all worries, allowing myself to forget completely about my problems or desires and watching them come to me in perfect harmony. Now. How can you use detachment to manifest your desires? Step 1. Accept that you are one with God, the universe, source, the subconscious mind, whatever you like to call it. But recognize you are the wave, one with the ocean of being. That means you are already everything you desire because you are one with infinity. Step 2. Recognize that your good is inherent. It is not dependent on your visualizations, affirmations, or any other manifestation technique. Only do them if you want to. It is always trying to come to you in the best way. But, step three, recognize where you may have limiting or negative beliefs about your desires or life in general. If you want to find your limiting beliefs, just look at your life. What are recurring negative themes or situations that pop up? Where do you struggle? This awareness will show you where you are feeling lack, be it lack of love, lack of success, lack of any trait or thing. Consciously let these go by noticing these feelings or thoughts within you during the day and flipping them or ignoring them. Step 4. Practice meditation with no manifestation techniques. Just spend time relaxing your body and mind, letting go of thoughts instead of getting sucked in. Being present. At least 15 minutes a day. Many people have 9 hour screen time so you can manage to dedicate 15 minutes to this practice. And I promise it will be worth it. You can also be present at any time of day, at the grocery store or driving. Just feel your body, the clothes on your body, the temperature. Feel the flow of breath in the nostrils, that coolness as you inhale and warmth as you exhale. This is very helpful to disengage with the mind when you're feeling worried or triggered. Step 5. Trust in yourself to manifest your desire. Do not try to think of a plan B. Set the intention that you will have it and let it go. Release all fear, worry, doubt, and impatience. Enjoy yourself here and now, and it will come. If you want an even deeper dive into all of this, check out the Detachment Mastery course. I'll leave a link in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. I love you all very much, and I will see you next time. Take care.